Hello, this is Mr. Abamo Idano Gwene. I'm here to show you this applet I just designed using the GeoGebra Classic software. Looking at it, you can see what I have here. This statement here says it's one a perfect cube. So that is all what about this applet is talking about. It's trying to tell you how to know if a number is a perfect cube or not. In my previous video, I showed you how you can check if a number is a perfect square so this is a perfect cube checker so how do you do it it's just to impute the number here or you can use the slider to move to whatever number you want to check if it's a perfect cube i know what a perfect cube is just like a square root you are looking for a number you multiply itself to give the number that will be a square root of the number why a perfect cube is a number that you multiply by itself three times for example if you do two times two times two so you know that two times two is four then four times two is eight so two times two times two is eight so in that case eight is going to be a perfect cube so if you click on this check it will write yes eight is a perfect cube so that means eight is a perfect cube because two times two times two is going to be eight and if you check it here you will see it here that means 2 raised to the power 3 which is 2 times 2 times 2 is equals to 8 so that means 8 is a perfect cube or a cube number and you can also write it in this order you can see the way this uh, root symbol came up here you can see the 3 here telling you that this is the cube root of 8 and the cube root of 8 is 3 meaning a number you multiply by itself 3 times in this order 2 times 2 times 2 will give you a perfect cube so that is all about this applet just impute the number click on check if it's a perfect cube it will tell you yes if it's not a perfect cube it will tell you no you can do i just do it just a way of uh, having some little kind of fun you can demonstrate it with your students in your class tell them to just ask them a question if if, if it's a not if a number is perfect cube or not they can just check then you can use this one as a checker to help you to increase your efficiency in your classroom and even the student can have it and use it to demonstrate their own personal knowledge so you can see one is a perfect cube because one times one times one is one so yes it's a perfect cube you can see it so that is that so you can impute any number let me impute a number that is not a perfect cube let's say 16 so we know that 16 is a perfect square not a perfect cube so if you check no it's not a perfect cube so 16 is not a perfect cube because if you find the cube root of 16 see there's a decimal point and we don't need a decimal point as long as there's a decimal point therefore it's not a perfect cube a perfect cube must give you a whole number after finding the cube root and you can see the whole number multiplied by itself three times it's supposed to give you the number you want so 16 is not a perfect cube just like that we know 64 is a perfect cube if you try 64 check yes it's a perfect cube 64 is 4 times 4 times 4 you can see it 4 times 4 times 4 is 64 just like that if you try just a 763 this one will give us no no it's not a perfect cube okay then if you check 1000 you know 1000 is 10 times 10 times 10 so 1000 is a perfect cube let me undo that okay so let's check no it's not a perfect cube so because if you find the cube roots it's going to give you a decimal so we don't need a decimal here but if you check a number like 1000 which is 10 times 10 times 10 if you check yes it's a perfect cube so this is all about this applet you can download this applet in the description of the video just go to the description of this video you will see the link in which you can use to download this applet if you like it you can use it anytime just play with it around demonstrated with your student in your class and that is all i have in this video thank you for watching do have a nice day